Just get out yourself a GoPro camera that shoots 120 frames per second. Well, here's some footage I shot earlier today. Now, to convert it, I'm going to use MPEG Stream Clip. You get it free at www.squared5.com. You take your footage and just drop it in. Deep. Let's take a look. What a beautiful dog. Amazing beast, I must say. Oh, you almost picked that game. Alright, go to your finder and put a new folder on your desktop. I'm gonna call this one slow mo. Go ahead and go back to MPEG Stream Clip File. Export to other formats. Go ahead and click on that and choose image sequence. Next Change your option and save it as JPEGs. A bunch of JPEGs. Click OK. Click OK again. And choose your slow mo. Save. Bada bing, bada bing, 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 there's a JPEG photograph of every single frame. Open up Final Cut Express. And go under Final Cut Express. Use the preferences. And click on the editing tab. And go ahead and set that to one frame. So it's going to display a JPEG once for one frame. Next, go to your file. Import files. And guess what? Go to that slow mo folder. And select them all. Use your shift and click. Just like that, you get them all. Little tip. And boom, there they are in the browser. Go ahead and drag them all in to your timeline. And then, once they're loaded, go over there, hit play. And you have yourself some true smooth frame slow motion. Not dropping any frames there. Looks beautiful. Then you can just export it as a quick time file or whatever else you want to do. It's pretty simple. This also works. You can import these uh, photos into iMovie. It takes a long time for it to process it, but you can get a very similar effect. You know, if you don't have Final Cut Pro or Final Cut Express, you have the iMovie option. Oh, that's a scary dog. I need a nap.